Hey cheaters, super excited to reveal Project Atlas Agents, our new no-code project management interface to manage a team of AI agents such that you can edit their tasks, add context, get real-time results, and manage them like a, a normal uh, remote team, except it's all your own AI agents where you distill your deep industry insight and build any sort of autonomous agent towards a uh, generalized goal. We are publishing three agents that are extremely valuable to us as a business, including a software developer agent, a research agent, and a sales automation agent that are upgrades of the existing automations you can already do with Project Atlas. We have Project Atlas now, which actually builds the entire automation for you from end to end and solves the original vision that we set out to solve. So if you hold Alt-S on any website, you can ask it to build the whole automation for you in simple language. So you can say things like scrape the product prices and descriptions uh, on this search page in new tabs. There you go. And it does a few cool things. So it builds the whole automation for us in simple language, whereas before I would have to maybe teach you how to build it over 20 minutes. You can say things like uh, instead of product prices and descriptions, you can set the titles and reviews or titles, prices and reviews or whatever you wanted. Um, and it would build the whole automation and it understands its context because we give it the HTML of the website. So that solved the problem of uh, automating single websites, but we also needed to solve the problem of automating auto like problems of unlimited complexity. And so basically, the way we did this is we taught ChatGPT and GPT-4 our internal library to solve all the roadblocks in automation, things like uh, opening new tabs, sending data, simulating human key presses. And we taught that in an interface of simple language. And then to solve the problem of, you know, linking multiple websites, which is really where mo most automations end up happening is m linking multiple services. We taught ChatGPT the ability to spin up workers and break down the problem into uh, manageable bits and organize it into like an organizational structure such that just like if you are human when you needed to solve problems of um, you know harder complexity you might break it down into manageable pieces. One exciting agent for us is a software developer agent which can build entire front ends, back ends, marketplaces, cryptocurrencies, iOS apps, Android apps, basically anything you want because they can break them down into manageable bits. And if you if you joined our last meetup, you would have noticed we ran a Chrome extension builder using agents. And all users have access to a basic version of this in Project Atlas. So you can basically say things like generate a landing page for a sales automation SaaS with a pricing section. And it, so it does something cool. It builds the whole website for us live into the background. But it also builds it in an iterative process that allows us to tell it whatever we want it to build. And this is exciting because it's like a personal software engineer and designer who can build us anything we want. In fact, this UI and the latest Project Atlas um, uh, product management interface was built entirely using Project Atlas. So what we did is basically we took the feedback from our users who wanted the ability to resize, the ability to remove, uh, move this around the screen, and even this real-time search. We didn't write the code for this. We asked Project Atlas to develop all these features. And you can go check our Discord, and you can see the first version of this. And we s took that, and we sent it to a designer to polish, and we built it in two days rather than, honestly, it might have taken me three weeks. It's the same thing with this new dashboard. We built the functionality for this entire 
dashboard, which allows you to rearrange priority, um, actually edit tasks, add tasks, add context, get real-time results, real-time emails, manage your agents like a project management interface, kind of like monday.com. And we built it entirely using Project Atlas, which is kind of exciting. And then sent it to a designer to polish in two days rather than three weeks. So after this finishes, I'll actually have the ability to tell it to add features and um, build functional tools. Users have built entire like games, functional tools, like interactive quizzes. For example, we had a user who wanted to generate product descriptions for 10,000 products, and that uh, goes over the limit of um, OpenAI's context limit by 190,000 tokens. And so the way we solved it is that we actually asked Project Atlas to generate a product description generator that loops through a CSV list uh, on each row and generates a product description one by one using the OpenAI API. And you can go check out our Discord, and I even shared this in our last meetup, uh, the phrase to generate this entirely in simple language in, Pro in Project Atlas. And so you can see the website it generated. Now I'm going to ask it, let's say, um, add an email sign up and, and make all the font colors uh, blue. <clears throat> There we go. It's going to build the whole thing again. And actually, uh, just like a personal software engineer and designer, but even much better than a personal software engineer and designer because it knows the entire history of design and every product much better than me and uh, all the maybe security issues as well. So it's like a super assistant. For example, you can say things like make it look like uh, Apple or Google or uh, the latest modern designs like flat or um, things like that. And so uh, you can iteratively actually build the entire automation or product for you. And we think this is indicative of a near future where users don't have to wait for services to build features for you because they're often trying to target the majority of users or the average user and they don't have time to build specific features for each single user in fact they're often recommended not to allow users to hijack the product and so we believe there's a um, a future that maybe people haven't considered that could drastically disrupt the entire software industry where each user can build their own apps their own services with the features that are bespoke to them and the whole service costs less because AI is able to build the entire service for you uh, using the same underlying technologies, same bleeding edge known technologies, uh, host it maybe even on your own servers. So it costs less, it has all the features you need and it's faster. And so I, I think this is going to be a much better future, and we're, that's what we're building together in Cheatlayer. The software developer agent version can build entire products, including backends, frontends, apps, marketplaces, cryptocurrencies. And we're super excited because that's immediately valuable to us as a startup. The other automation that's immediately valuable to us as a startup is a scientific research agent, which allows us to perform arbitrary research uh, on any topic that we want so for example we can say things like um, analyze the latest research on GPT-4 or uh, I also did one on the latest Alzheimer's research and actually performed independent analysis and formed a completely new conclusion that didn't exist within any of the papers this is really exciting to us as engineers because when we hit a roadblock we typically go to Stack Overflow or Google and then bang our heads to the keyboards and then leap, like go to the latest research papers and try to deduce some kind of bleeding edge solution. This is cool because so far with Project Atlas, we've only be able, like, been teaching it 
to uh, emulate ourselves, emu emulate our own ability. But now you can actually see it has the ability to perform independent scientific research. What it's doing now is it actually collected all the papers uh, on GPT-4. It's now opening them all in new tabs, forming uh, summaries on each paper, uh, combining all those summaries. And then finally, it's going to form an independent conclusion. And if you look back at our um, agent's dashboard, you can see the progress here. It's finished the first task. It returns all the papers that it found, including a screenshot. And this task, it's summarizing all the papers. And it actually forms a completely new independent conclusion at the end of this process. And as I was saying, this is super exciting because we believe the next significant milestone for us is if it's able to link that new conclusion to completely new code since it's actually able to generate code. Uh, and then finally, it'll be able to not just emulate us, but even solve problems that we weren't able to solve, which is kind of super exciting for us. <laughs> the last significant pre-built agent that we're sharing with the community is a sales automation agent. Feel free to contact our live chat support to get to access to our sales automation webinar, which does the regular cold outreach and automated responses using GPT-4 to send out links to our demo calendar such that our sales team constantly get demos on autopilot. The sales automation version of this agent scours websites like LinkedIn, GitHub, and such, or anything that you want to enter, and finds contacts, uh, leads independently, starts conversations based on a history of your copy, and uh, only targets anything that's in within your persona that you're targeting and moves them towards a specific goal, for example, like a sale or a demo. And they maintain all these conversations in a vector database as a CRM so that your autonomous sales team can maintain hundreds of conversations in parallel for you. And this is very exciting. This is also the only agent, pre-built agent that we're releasing that doesn't have a human in the loop. So we're not immediately releasing this, we're testing this extensively such that it doesn't do anything dangerous. But in our initial tests, it's actually able to form um, uh, independent uh, conversations and send us demos. So it's very exciting as well. So uh, stay tuned for the sales automation agent, the uh, software developer agent, and the scientific research agent.